Oh, I'm excited already. Oh shit, it's no wife though. I've seen this. I think I've seen this. I've never seen this. That one chick whose bell looks really familiar. Oh my god. Stepping up to their poolside palace. This is like my childhood all in one video. I see Aurora already passed out. <laughs> Ooh, people are already getting shady. <laughs> I'm not understanding the point of this video. I have to be home by midnight. I have to return my car. Why? Is it going to turn into a pumpkin? <laughs> no, it's a rental. Are they just making like Disney jokes? Is the pool heated? Uh-oh. God damn it, Elsa. <laughs> this is really stupid, but I really like it. Jasmine in her carpet. Good afternoon. Cocktail sausages or tea? Oh my gosh, Jeannie! How have you been? Good afternoon. Cocktail sausages. Oh my god. Look at this. It's a oh, dingle hopper. A I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. I don't find this funny. How are the dwarves? Really? They have names, you know. How would you feel if I said, oh, how's that girl who dated an animal? Bestiality. <laughs> Never good, guys. These princesses are so shady. <laughs> And they lived happily ever after. That's probably like a true representation of like how a modern like 21st century princess would act. No, Isaac, please, I'm, I'm done. Just leave, just leave. I'm leaving, you don't have to tell me, I'm leaving. The on and off couple, oh, I know those. I feel like I've seen this one. Oh, I've seen one of these videos before. Yeah, we broke up again. Really? But is it for real this time? Yeah, no, actually for real. Okay. Someone just texted me. Oh my God. Okay, don't hate me, but we're back together. Rachel! <laughs> the 10 different types of relationships. Hey guys, it's Rachel. Who needs makeup when it's RCL Beauty? Convince yourself that that, okay yeah. Me. I decided to do a 10 different types of relationships video because I did 10 different types of boyfriends and 10 different types of girlfriends. And what about if you put both of those together? Uh, I've seen this at the gym. Oh, oh, I've seen that. I hate that a lot. Okay, you've done 100 sit ups. Let's take a post-workout mirror selfie. True. <laughs> oh my god, Rachel, you gotta see us. There's coin. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Really? Disgusting. Oh god, disgusting. Cool. Disgusting. Yeah, come see this. Oh. Isn't it crazy? That's oh gross. God. If I'm dating a guy, I do not want to look at his poop. Babe, how did I get so lucky to have you? I know, right? Me too. I hate those couples. Babe, will you marry me? Love birds. Oh, they, they can be oh sweet god, sometimes. I got you this promise ring. It's infinity, because we're going to be forever. Ooh. That's so 2010 Jonas Brothers of them. What do you think our kids are gonna look like? Ugh. Me. Oh, yes. Wait, Rachel. There we are. Got Instagrams. Oh God. Crazy to think that I was lucky enough to get such a perfect princess. I know so many people like this. Oh my oh. God. Is that okay? Yeah, that makes us look like a really cute couple. <laughs> That last one was so true. I know people in almost every one of those relationships. Same. I wouldn't watch it again. It was like kind of funny, but like, eh. I was good, I liked her videos. They're enjoyable, but I don't know who she is. So do you know what channel the videos we just showed you were from? No. No idea. No, I have no idea. She said her name's Rachel. I don't, no. but I've seen on some of the princess ones. RCL Beauty 101. She always shows up on the Explore page on Instagram for me because I follow like some other YouTubers that she's done collabs with. These videos were from the YouTube star Rachel Levin on her channel RCL Beauty 101. Oh! I've heard of her. No, I've never heard of her. I've never heard of her. I, she looks really familiar though. Well, before we dive in, can you talk about what you liked or didn't like about her content? I feel like her content was basic vlogger beauty YouTuber. They were kind of amusing, but I wouldn't like rewatch them. I liked her, it was cool. The relationships one like was very spot on. She kind of like pinpoints like the modern stereotypes in like really relatable situations, like between all the couples. It seemed kind of like real down to earth. It wasn't like too over edited. Kind of remind me of a uh, Nigahiga. I really liked how genuine it all felt. She was just like, she wrote some sketches with some friends and was like, hey, we should film this. And that's like such a cool thing to see online nowadays. Well, Rachel is one of the most popular channels on YouTube. She went from 2 million subscribers to 8 million subscribers in a single year. Wow. That's impressive. Oh my. How does she have 8 million subscribers? And she now has over 1 billion views. Well, dang. I've never heard of her. This is weird. There's so many people, so many channels that 
you just don't always have the opportunity to see everyone. But she is funny, and it's a shame I've never heard of her. YouTube has become such a huge thing. Like, everybody in the world knows about YouTube and, like, has their own subsect of YouTube. That there can be people that are, like, huge in their own category, but she's still this hugely popular person in the community that, like, I'm a part of. Just a different part of it. The channel started five years ago and was primarily standard beauty vlogging but it's turned into a lot more than that now with sketches and more scripted content. What do you think about that? I like it. I think it's cool. Diversity on the channel is good. I think it's cool that she started off with beauty and now has moved into skits. Too much of one thing, you know, is not good. Her audience is enjoying her videos. It's good for her to like branch out, I guess, and try different things. That's kind of like the essence of YouTube. Like it starts out with like your little niche and like you grow and then like as you like grow more followers, then you can just like branch out and be like, hey guys, why don't I, I'm just gonna try something a little new here. If you want to diversify your channel and you want to do a ton of other things, then I think it's good and you should do that. But at the same time, it's like those people subscribe to your channel for that one thing. So you might just want to stick with that. I think it's good to expand. Every channel has to grow but keep the core of what you do. Like she still does beauty vlogs, but she's expanded to other stuff to reach out to other kinds of people. So the first video we showed you was part of her Disney princess video series, and that video got over 50 million views in the first month of its release. That's crazy. 50 million views? My mind is blown. I go on YouTube, I promise. How have I not seen this? Why do you think that video went so viral? There were girls in bathing suits. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't find it very good. Well, everybody likes Disney. A lot of the references made sense and it was, some of them were funny, some of them were like relatable. Seeing them and being so like sassy and shady to each other, it's just relatable and something that you're like, that that would happen. The second video we showed you was part of her 10 different types series. What'd you think of that one? You know, that one wasn't as bad. That was definitely better than the Disney Princess one. I found like, oh, kind of relatable. I thought it was funny. I thought it was really relatable. I think they're really funny and you can kind of relate to them and also like, oh, well, I will not do that because that, that looks so annoying, so I'm just not going to be that person. It's kind of like the YouTube version of a tag yourself meme where you can just be like, oh, I'm the fitness relationship when you can click into it and you relate to it so well that you will find connections between you and the content creator. Rachel was asked where she sees her channel in five years and she mentioned hoping that it's still growing and that she has even better production value. Uh, where do you see channels like hers going in the future? I I just, I can't really see her doing much else. Could be even bigger, like she has 8 million subscribers now, it could be 50 or 100 million. I think if she keeps doing different sketches and stuff, I think that's how she'll grow. I think she'll still be in beauty, but she might expand to even more sketch comedy or more of these types of like straightforward vlogs instead of maybe beauty tutorials. I see nothing but going up. I see nothing but the entire YouTube community growing and becoming bigger and she's a part of that and obviously a very big part of that, so I don't see why she wouldn't grow and change with it. Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. Like what you saw, then hit that subscribe button. Ciao. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.